what is my intention? When I was in college and I started getting that a lot more, like you're too nice, you're too nice, I was confused as to why that was a bad thing. You know, why wouldn't you want someone to, you know, hold the door for you or, uh, you know, buy you dinner or, you know, be a gentleman. Like that's literally all I was attempting to be, right? Um, but I didn't realize that what was my intention? Looking back now and having a lot more clarity, I didn't realize how much my desire to be nice to other people, whether it was friends or romantically or, you know, just business and, you know, school, whatever. I mean, it just didn't matter. Just anything in that time of my life. Um, it was centered around wanting to be liked. Okay. So that in and of itself is a lack mentality intention because it assumes that they already don't like me. And so I need to be nice in order to gain their approval. And then that fulfills me internally. That's a problem. Yeah. At least from my perspective. It goes back to that loving yourself yes. or finding value in yourself through someone else. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Heart Leader community. We are so excited. The Silence Your Inner Critic Immersive Retreat is open for early registration. Click the link below to learn more and secure your spot today. Exactly. Exactly. And so I didn't realize that I was creating an empty void that I could not fulfill. And unintentionally, I was using the people around me to make myself feel loved through their love, as you just said, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's a huge misstep on my intention. I am no longer authentic in the, in, the, in the genuine kindness that I'm bringing forward, at least in terms of 100%. I, it wasn't like I was out seeking to you know, have bad actions just to look nice to not be, like, and that's not wasn't the intention. But my desire, I so desperately wanted to be liked and, or be loved or be cared for or be seen that I would go out of my way to make the other person feel that way. And then I put an expectation that I should get that in return. And this is, you know, now looking back, I mean, obviously I can see it. I'm like, what, what was I thinking? That is, even, uh, you know, that's so unhealthy, so unhealthy, not only for me, but for the other person. Yeah. It's just, it's not fair. It's not, a, it's not a correct expectation to place on someone. So where was, you know, so it was, I, you know, the reality is, is I had to ask my, when I did have that awareness, and you thankfully helped me understand this, is like, well, was I actually being nice if that's what I was placing on someone? Yes. And it's a great question to ask yourself. You know, for me, when I, when kindness is flowing through, when love is flowing through, it isn't so that I can get something from someone else. The joy is in the energy or the love that I feel flow through me as it goes out. Now, would it be a beautiful bonus gift if it also gets reciprocated or acknowledged in gratitude in some way? Well, of course, who doesn't like to be acknowledged? But that's not the why behind it. It is, there's so much love that you feel. When you are truly centered in, I am doing this because I desire to do this action mm -hmm. or to provide this resource or whatever it is that you're doing. And that love from source, from God, from whatever it is that you feel most connected to, that you know that love is flowing through you, that is really the, the joy part of the kindness and the love. So I think no matter what, we're going to receive something, mm -hmm. right? It's not as though when you are being nice or, and I think that's what threw me so much with too nice. It's like, how can I be too nice if what is flowing through me and out 
is that what I would connect with is that energy of just true desire to share this love that I feel from God or source, creation itself. I just desire to share that with you. But there is a point where when you put yourself in someone else's shoes, you can understand how that faucet might be on way too much for what they're ready to receive. And so, yeah, that can come off as too nice, right? Yeah. It's absolutely. too much. Too much. You know, I mean, it is a beautiful thing when, as you said, I mean, it's always going to, there's going to be some movement of, okay, if I, if I genuinely, like, I get joy from giving joy, right? That's, that's a beautiful, authentic, genuine thing. But for us, and that's, that's a beautiful intention, right? But at the same time, it is, to your point, I feel it's, it's not in awareness of what the other person is mm-hmm. receiving out of it. It's only self-focused. Yes. And I believe, and so just for clarity, I believe that's what you're bringing forward. Exactly. So when we put ourselves on the other side, which is part of what we mentioned at the beginning of this discussion, is Mm -hmm. looking at it from both sides. We always want to see things from all the different sides that are in our awareness. And in this case, the other person's point of view. Maybe they're not ready for all of that. 